Sign up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the May 29th, the uh, fabulous Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that, well, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I. We're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much, much more important than that, during this next 60 minutes, I'm going to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Let those fingers do the walking. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, if you'd be kind enough to put radio show question. And in our Tigers, then, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on fabulous, fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we've got a mixed bag out here. you got the Dow off 200 points, the S&P down 14. NASDAQ 100 up 31 points, trading at 94.47. The Russell down 21. The semi's up 22. The New York Stock Exchange off about 1% or 111 points. The Wilshire off a half a percent or 150 points. The Trannies are off 66 points. That's three quarters of a percent. Spot volatility is up 92 pennies, trading out at 29.51, still well below its 50-day exponential moving average. Goldilocks trading out at 17.36, although that's rolling into the August contract. Um, silver is uh, trading out at 18.44. Light sweet crude is trading at 33.53. It's back 18 pennies, leading the charge to the upside. You've got Z Scaler. ZS is a ticker symbol of 21 bucks or 27 percent. Tesla's up 13. Domino's 13. Market taxes holdings 12. Dexcom 12. To the downside, booking holdings 19 bucks, a little over 1 percent. Our Vinus Inc. is off 13 or 29 percent. BlackRock down 12, a little over 2 percent. Minerva Neurosciences down uh, nine bucks and change, 73 percent. Holy shnikes there. Lockheed Martin down eight bucks. So certainly plenty to look at. We're going to look at what you want to look at. The uh, first request, uh, well, Dust was a request from Peter in the uh, Tiger's Den. So we'll go ahead and put Dust up. But as you know, we're going to have to take a look at something other than just Dust to try to figure out Dust out here. Um, and here's the charts, right? You can see all of the reverse splits out here. So many of them that really analyzing these charts are somewhat useless. Okay, that's enough for dust. Now let's go take a look at the GDX. Now we've got the one-to-one. -one. This is going to be more useful to us. So what do we know about the GDX? Well, one, we know that price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. When a change in trend takes place, we need to see key levels of support do that. Here in the case of the uh, GDX, we can see a 1 to 1.272, A to B equals CD pattern. If it was just a normal retracement, price should have found support at 3505. It didn't do that. On Monday, uh, when the markets opened, price just sliced right through, well, it was Tuesday, my apology, Tuesday, price just sliced right through support at 3505. Now, from a TAS market profile standpoint, then the next level of support that I could look for would be on the weekly chart and that because price is above the top of its bear structured profile it's the top of that profile 3027 that would become the level to be watching and observing now i'm going to also switch over for you and take a look at the uh xau so let's do that here uh daily indices there we go uh and on the on this it, it'd be similar pattern to what you see on the gdx but uh Similar. So if we take a look at the XAU, here's what we know. We know that this top 
with two patterns out here. Wave number seven, that is letter G. Uh, that is courtesy of uh, Basil Chapman out there. Again, it's a part of the Chapman Wave tool, not necessarily how he teaches the Rogue Wave or what have you, but it did still make it to wave number seven out there. And price was also moving higher, doing less relative energy. And that gap to the downside on uh, Tuesday, what that did was that generated and confirmed a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. Now, if you're going to ask me where support is on this, support is at a 62, 82, 82.07. This is the XAU that we're talking about. As long as price stays below Stevie's uh, green line, that's at 125.60. Um, all that's really taking place here is likely the uh, B to a C of an A to B equals CD to the downside out there. So that's what's going on inside the mining equities. And um, I'd really be focused on uh, GDX, the XAU versus the actual dust chart, so to speak. It just, it just, I just, you already, I don't, you don't need me to go into that. It is, it is what it is out there. So, uh, Peter, that is uh, Stevie's version of, no, for you. What we should also do is go take a look at gold and silver, right? Because those are directionally going to have an impact on the way that the XAU trades. So let's go take a look at Goldilocks and silver, see what we have going on here. Um, give me uno momento, por favor. Uh, as I get these charts here to load up. So we take a look at gold. What's it doing? As I like to teach all of my kids and grandkids, the answer to that is not much. What do you mean not much, Devo? It's up 20 some odd bucks today. Well, not much when we take a look at the actual pattern. It's just simply consolidating sideways, sideways as clear of a consolidation pattern as you get. Prices above the center. Uh, now we're back on the August contract here. It is above Stevie's green line, above the center of its TAS market profile. This is suggesting to you and I, price is going to make a run for the 1772 area. That is the top of its consolidation. It is still simply in a consolidation. Nothing more. Don't read anything more into it than that. But it does appear that gold wants to trade a bit higher, still in that range. Silver, silver could be a different animal. If we go take a look at silver, what do we know about it? Well, it is now trading above, and looks like it'll close above the top of its bearish structured profile. That's important because that negates its TD9 count pattern out here. And uh, what this is also suggesting to us is price might want to go reach for the stars. And the stars here are $19.42. That would be the one-to-one. -one. A to B equals CD to the upside. So, if gold wants to move higher, if silver wants to move higher, if the XAU has a bearish pattern, but we can see a counter trend rally, we could have seen a counter trend rally continue to move up to maybe Stevie's green or red line out there. Would I take a dust trade today? No. If I was in dust, would I be preparing to take a bit of heat? And the answer would be yes. There's also a potential Rhodes Momentum Indicator top that has been triggered inside of uh, silver, but nothing other than to just report the triggering. And that's really it with regard to uh, silver. So that's our summary. We think dust will probably uh, take a bit of heat because gold and silver should continue higher in their current patterns out there. So I hope that uh, helps you out, Peter. Next request was to go get a grape knee high out here. Ticker symbol is when was the last time you had a grape knee high? When was the last time? As a little kid. I say a little kid, you know, in my uh, younger years when I had all those paper routes, Detroit News, Detroit Free Press, and we would uh, go, uh, we would we ride our, well, we rode our bikes all the time out there. Uh, God, what was the name of that area we used to go ride our bikes to? Shoot, it's out, out towards uh, Northville, Northville in uh, in the Michigan out there. And anyway, we used to go ride and we'd get the grape knee highs. That's really what I was getting to. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading 
trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Edward Hines Drive or Park. Uh, Edward, I think it was Ed Eddie Hines Drive. I think that was the uh, road I was trying to think of that we used to uh, ride our bikes out to as uh, kids. And, and I can still picture the old drugstore with all those little jawbreakers and all those great uh, sugary sweets and candies out there. In any event, the uh, real question was to take a look at ticker symbol NEE. -E. That's how we got started on that uh, wild ride out there. That is Nextera Energy. And uh, this looks uh, bullish uh, all the way around right now. Uh, so we've got the end of the month. We have the end of the week. And obviously, uh, we have the end of the day. Well, the end of the day, this is going to be a close above the top of its daily profile. It's the end of the week. It's going to be a close above the top of its weekly profile. That's 250.87. And it's going to be the end of the month. It's going to be a close above the top of the monthly profile, 250.78. Now, granted, this pulls back a couple of bucks while well, those last two statements uh, would be um, incorrect. So 250.87, that is the top of the profile for the monthly and top of the profile for the weekly. Uh, Stevie, so that's a one, one number there to uh, really remember. I, I, I don't recall seeing that take place uh, ever before. I'm sure it has. I just don't recall seeing it. That's what I'm saying. Now, as we take a look at Stevie's other charts out here, what do we see? We see, yeah, yesterday was the signal that Price wanted to uh, make these moves here as Price closed above its TD nine count breakdown level of 246.90, telling you that this wants to move to higher ground. So the question is going to be, where is that higher ground? Let me move over to the weekly time frame chart, see if there's any other data, tools, or anything out here. Is there anything? Nothing that I've got. Let me pull over the monthly time frame chart. I don't have anything on the monthly. So now the question would be, okay, so where is it headed back to? All right, that's really the question. And we like to try to find some kind of pattern out here. The question is, is today and yesterday, did it take out the swing point, which was the day of April 9th that had 4.9 million shares? Was it taken out with volume? We, yesterday, it was 3 million shares. The answer is no. And today, even lesser no out there. So everything here looks bullish. Uh, zip 
zippity doo da, zippity day, with the exception of the type of volume that you'd like to see as price closes above a, a swing point out here. Um, and so I'd really hesitate to uh, give you a uh, price projection at this stage here. Um, about, about the only thing else that I can do that I can think of is to just look at retracements from low to high. And so if this is above the 0.786 retracement, uh, then what we can say is this is going to go retest the highs. And it's not. So the next level of where next Terra Energy is headed, targeted, is 260.12. That's the 0.786 retracement from the move from high to low out there. So uh, Zip, I hope that that helps you out. Mike K in the den wants to take a look at uh, Harmony Gold. HMY is the uh, ticker symbol. So let's go take a look at it, see where this is headed to. So in the case of Harmony Gold, this is trading below. Hey, you got a brand new a brand new daily profile formed today. That's the good news. However, right now, that's the bad news. Bad news, Steve. Why, why would you say that? Well, because the new profile formed above price. That's not a good thing. So what uh, Harmony Gold is suggesting to you and I is who wants to head to lower areas. Where would those lower areas be? Well, uh, we'd go over to the weekly time frame chart and we'd select 259. That's the center of its weekly profile out here. We could see that price has rejected the top of its monthly profile. It's done that for one, two, three, four, five, six. Six months. As six months, we've seen tests of 363, and each time it gets rejected by the end of the month. This one, Harmony Gold, boy, is this not perfect for Tommy's expression? If you can't bust them up, it's going to go bust them down. Boy, there's no doubt about that. Now, when we take a look at Harmony Gold. This also generated a, uh, this is on a monthly basis. Well, we've got the Rhodes Momentum Indicator. So we can see that pattern. Price trading between support and resistance, it's profile levels there. Let's come over to the daily time frame. What do we got out here? Let's populate its patterns out here. What do we have? Today's going to be bar number seven of a TD9 count um, out here. You know, hit me back, Mike, in um, on Tuesday, I suppose. We'll see if there's a TD9 count that unfolds here. The weekly time frame, price below Stevie's green line, it's selecting, suggesting that it wants lower price. So at this stage of the game, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, the profile's really telling us the story out there, Mikey, and that is that uh, price has been unable to bust it up. We know that. And we take a look at the daily time frame. Price is trading below the bottom of its daily profile out there, subject to a TD9 count that could form on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, this wants to trade lower. So I hope that that helps you out. We had a request to go take a look at uh, Mickey D's out there. McDonald's is the uh, ticker symbol. Uh, hey, nobody makes a better French fry than Mickey D's, right? Well, when you're on the road. You're entitled to road food when you're on the road. And if anybody knows about road food, that would have to be Steve Rhodes. Yeah, exactly. Now, if we take a look at McDonald's out here, we can see prices trading above the top of its daily profile, above the top of its weekly profile, and into if there's going to be a counter trend move on a monthly basis, we would say the counter trend would end at the bottom of its monthly profile. And that number is 221.93. We're trading at 186.54 out there. So looks good on the daily, looks good on the weekly. The monthly is saying not so fast. Let's go take a look at our other charts, see if we can figure out anything else. What's going on in the daily time frame? That would be my question. So let's actually hit the daily tab and let's populate this booger. If we take a look at the daily, uh oh. Today's going to be bar number nine of a TD9 count, but I notice that it's bar number six that has the high of the pattern out there. And in the case of McDonald's, what you're looking for is an entry point. So I don't have a valid topping. We can see wave number seven. That marked the high. Price hasn't been able to get over that. That was back on all the way back on April 29th, so over a month ago out there. We can't see Stevie's green line or red line turned green. So that tells us price and that line are going to catch up to each other. So the answer to the question with regard to McDonald's, Where's your entry point? Well, we'd say 183.74 to 181.87. And if price closes below 183.74, that's Stevie's green line. That number's going to change a tad. Uh, then, and 181.87 doesn't hold, then you're looking at 175 and 178. Those would be your levels. Right now, the answer to your question on a daily basis is 183. I want you to know that at $200, even Stephen, that is the TD9 breakdown level. So that becomes your target. That becomes your price target. So make sure the reward risk makes sense to you out there. If we take a look at the weekly time frame, what do we have? Not much. 
And on the monthly time frame, as we talked about earlier, price is testing the bottom of that profile out there. So that would be and suggest your counter trend rally that would end right there. But I don't really have a topping signal, so to speak, on the uh, daily time frame. Uh, but right now, McDonald's wants to pull back to test Stevie's green line. So I hope that that helps you out. We had a request inside the den as well to go take a look at GFI out here. So let's go do that. Let's just populate Stevie's white background charts out here, see if we can get this to occur within the next, uh, the next uh, four or five seconds out here. Come on. Come on, do it for the people that are on there that are watching you. Go ahead and process the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly, the five minutes, the 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 120, 240, and five hour chart. No wonder it takes so long. And with all these tools out here for it to populate, we put in a symbol. But with regard to gold fields out here, GFI is the uh, ticker symbol. Um, what do we have? Don't have a real significant topping signal with prices below the bottom of its daily profile. And so if this is just a counter trend rally and an A to B equals CD is a downside, well, then that ends the price movement to the upside today. If I take a look at the weekly chart out here and I hear the music, so we might come back. Hey, price has held a key level of support this week. That was 742. It's trading at 777. The one armed bandit is present on Stevie's screen. Hope you're right. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Bam! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back up 
folks, we're taking a look at the ticker symbol GFI. That's Gold Fields uh, Limited. And uh, uh, Mike and the Tigers then asked a good question. And I, I believe, Mike, if I've got it right, you're asking about the uh, you're asking about ticker symbol GFI and the uh, weekly candle. And your question was or is, uh, does this candle portend a possible retest of the high? And uh, it here's what it here's here's what it does. Um, here, so here's what we know. We know that this week gold fields move lower, and it tested in essence two real key levels of support. The first level of support was Stevie's green line. Now it's important, Mike, that the that for for you to know that that line is green versus red. Green line. It's not a hammer. Not a hammer candle. The latest, at least not at this stage of the game, uh, because it's got too much of a wick to the upside. But it doesn't matter. This one doesn't have to be bullish or bearish reversal candle or anything like that. Um, what what this is telling us, with the line being green, it tells us on a weekly basis that what Goldfields has is a price oscillator that is above zero. When price is above the green line, it tells us we have a rising price oscillator above zero, and that is bullish. So we're going to have different messages out here, remember, from the weekly versus the daily. And so on the weekly, it tells us that support is held. The second level of support was the top of its profile. Price didn't get all the way down there, but it was close enough to testing the support area for me to say that support is held. So on the longer term, intermediate term time frame, uh, this is still bullish out here. It's got an A to B equals CD pattern, although I, with uh, this white background uh, chart out here, I can't draw it in. But you can see all the A to B equals CD patterns, so that's easy. And you can see the bearish reversal candle out here. So you've really got more of a consolidation. Validation, I suppose, would be its message. Uh, can it get back up to retest those highs? Well, sure, because on the weekly, you don't have anything that's falling apart. But now that's different than the daily time frame. On the daily time, whoa, what the heck is that? I've never seen that before. Okay, we've got the daily time frame. Mike, I, I'm assuming you can see the A to visually see the A to B equals CD pattern that was uh, completed out here. And it was again, it was this falling window, this gap to the downside on Thursday. That would be the uh, confirmation of that sell the D point. And then a couple of days ago, now this is a daily time frame. Much I was May, May 23rd was that gap to the downside. Um, so price is below the bottom of that profile out here. And this is suggesting that this could be an A to B equals CD to the downside out here. I, I, and not until price could regain and close above the bottom of that daily profile will we be able to revert back to the message of the weekly. So you've got to see gold fields, my opinion. You need to see it close back above 782. The high today has been 783. We're trading at 778. Right now, you've got a rejection of that level. And I drew in the A to B equals CD pattern just simply using, you know, the technique that Tom has taught each of us, right? And that is just taking a look at price and volume. Well, in this case here, all we're doing is looking at volume. When price was moving lower into the trading day of April 20, May 27th, it was doing so with 10 million shares. Now, that 10 million shares was going against 5 million shares way back here on the trading day of May 1st, a gap to the upside that had 16 million shares. So we can understand why price has found support, right? So let's pull this. We can see what it was trading against. Uh, it's trading against this gap to the upside. So I'll just simply draw the line. That was from the trading session of April 23rd. So that may be your consolidation area. We can't call it a consolidation area just yet or I'm unwilling to do that until we see if price can close back inside its TAS market profile. Without it doing that, then what the pattern is suggesting to you and I is that there's an A to B equals CD to the downside, which we don't know if that is going to take place or not. There's, we can only guess that this high today would be the C point. But if we do begin to see price moving lower, and if it does take out 714, then what you're looking at is a one-to-one -one price point of 630 as its target, 1 to 1.272, a 588, and then 535 out there. So, you know, gold fields should be able to hold up, hold out, uh, while gold and silver continue to make their runs for their highs out here. Uh, but that's the, that's my take on the gold fields. I hope that that helps you out, Mike, with regard to your question there. Uh, there was a another request that was for ticker symbol VIRT. I think that's Vertex Pharmaceuticals, VIRT. Let's go ahead and punch this out here, see what it's doing. Nope, that's Virtu Financial. Virtu Financial is trading right into resistance, the top of its uh, daily profile. 23.44 is the uh, print. I'm sorry, 23.45 is what it's printing, and 23.44 is the top of that box. 
So right up to resistance. Let's go see what Vertex Pharmaceuticals patterns are out here. What was it doing? It was moving lower out there, and it stopped. Oh, now we have the answer. Hmm, interesting. All right, folks, you take it from here. I want you guys, gals, in the tiger's den right now, I want you to explain to Stevie this chart. Where was the buy point on Vertex Pharmaceuticals? And where was that buy point? And it was established well before price got down there, right? The TD9 count level. The TD9 count level is coming from the trading session of May, April 3rd. And that low was 21.23. Now, price makes a high out here on May 7th, pulls back, begins forming a TD9 count pattern. It completes a perfect TD9 count pattern on the trading session of May 21st, right where? Right at 21.23. Price pulls all the way back to support. The very next day, April, May 22nd out there, you get a nice bullish engulfing candle and telling you that hey, buyers also saw that that was a breakout support level. And they're ready to be defend their position. You now have price above Stevie's green line. So we know that that is helpful. This would be day number two, just sitting at resistance, the top of that daily profile. And if price can close above that level, where is price headed to? You guys are looking at this chart and you know the answer. Although I can't, I, it's kind of hard to read a little bit. You'll see the green line. It's at 2609. Uh, with all these tools, sometimes it scrunches the, uh, sometimes it, cr it scrunches VRT sex, uh, VRT X is vertex. Sorry about that. Okay, but it was VIRT that this individual wanted. So here, the uh, your your uh, the question with regard to uh, VIRT looks like it wants to head to twenty six oh nine. Your confirmation is going to be that close above the uh, daily profile out there. The weekly basis out here. So the weekly base says a slightly different message. It has roads momentum indicator top push price down to support. Stevie's green line that is held so far out here. So we revert back to the daily time frame and its resistance level watching that. And again, a close above the daily says you head back up to 2609. So I hope that that helps you out with regard to Virtu Financial out there. Let me just check the old phone out here. Uh, really, I'm just checking my emails, see if there's any other request. I don't see any other requests out there. So, um, so what do we want to do? We were talking about the nines. Did we talk about this yet? I don't recall. Let's go take a look at the 30-minute time frame chart. What was the NQ doing today? There was a big flush before I came on the air, wasn't there, to the downside. We saw it in the Dow. We actually saw it in all the indices, I believe. What was the NQ doing? Testing support. 93.82.25. Isn't that a cool thing? automatically populate just simply because I've automated the tool out there. But what you know is you and I are just simply trading by the numbers. We understand that there's nothing more important than knowing where support and resistance is. Those are our TAS market profiles. And those are levels that come from our TD9 counts. And then we have completions of Gertley, buy and sell patterns. Those bullish reversal candles give us additional support out here. If you can't bust them down, well, Nianku has not been able to do that. It'll try to bust them up. It says it wants to go tag 9480 this afternoon. We'll be right back. Thanks. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stock Stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So uh, we did have somebody who wanted to also take a look at Vertex Pharmaceuticals out here. Uh, right now, Vertex Pharmaceuticals, that's ticker symbol VRTX, trading above the daily top of its profile, the weekly top of its profile, monthly top of its profile. So everything looks hunky-dory there. Let's go make sure it's hunky-dory. Uh, the price projection right now, I've got an A to B equal CD pattern, by the way. That price projection is up at the 325-ish area. Let's go see what other issues there may be, if any, inside of Vertex Pharmaceuticals. It does have wave numbers. Number seven, that is letter G. That's the high so far. That's from May 18th out here. Uh, but price was able to find support in the push lower into its breakout level of 256.01. This is the daily time frame. It did that a couple of days ago. So it has a top. It's got a clear bottom that has held the support, the breakout level, and now price is trading just below Stevie's green line. So we really have a consolidation between the highs out here uh, in about the 295 level to about 257. That's what the daily time frame is showing us. If I look at the weekly, the weekly shows that uh, this week price tested and rejected Stevie's green line. That is still bullish. However, you're going to want to watch that 270.92. This is going to form a TD9 count high. And if price closes below 270.92, not today, next week, uh, then you're going to start taking a look at a rundown to the 237. So it looks okay, but know that you've got a valid topping pattern that is going to uh, form today on a weekly. And you've got a topping pattern that hasn't been taken out on the daily out here. And price is below Stevie's green line on the daily at 2 through 283, uh, 284.37. Uh, the monthly chart uh, looks pretty good. I don't see anything of significance. Oh, I take that back. We just we just we just repopulate. This is going to be on a monthly basis a TD9 count top. The bar following bar number nine. So what would you do for Vertex Pharmaceuticals? Do you jettison? Do you short it? No, I don't think you do that out here because the daily chart is saying, you know, hey, I'm still trading above my daily profile out here. I tighten my stop. Now, here's your problem, Suppose, supposedly a problem. The average true range on a daily basis is $11.26. That says your stop needs to be something greater than $11.26. See if that's worth the reward risk to you if you are in this uh, Vertex Pharmaceuticals out there. We've got other requests out there. We've got a number of them. One was to take a look at um, 
at uh, MBUU, MBUU, Double Top, MBUU. So we got Double Top is being called out here. Let's go take a look at MBUU, and we'll see what other kind of patterns are out there. Now, this is the Malibu boat out there. They make really nice uh, ski boats. So as we take a look at Malibu boats, what it's done today is it is uh, – Trading below the top of its daily profile, bullish structured profile. This is suggesting to us, just looking at this, that as long as price closes below 47.96, a run to 43.31 to 44.86 would be in order. Price is above the weekly and the monthly. But uh, as uh, John has called the double top pattern out here, let's go see what else we can find for Malibu boats. Ticker symbol MBUU out there. John, where are Malibu boats uh, manufactured? Do you know? Not Malibu, California. That would be too simple. Not a chance. But uh, and I don't know where Malibu boats. But let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart out here. Let's populate it, see what we see, what we can see out here. Oh, a TD nine count pattern may be forming today. Right now, we'd have to call it off. Price today will have to close above 47 bucks. And we're at 46.88. So if it doesn't close above 47 bucks, Tennessee, thank you, then uh, the TD nine count pattern will have been voided. But the the double top is also where we have the breakdown level at 51.46. So what do we know about Malibu boats right now? Potential topping signal, but that could go away. Easily, we could find an A to B equal CD to the upside. Price is pulled back and is testing Stevie's green line. This cannot be a short until price closes below Stevie's green line. And then know that if you were to short this, and I'm not saying that you are, you're going into a bullish structured profile. And that should be strong support as well. 43.31 to 44.86 out there. So, yes, we've got a double top. We may have a TD9 count depending on today's close. Uh, and uh, But price has so far tested Stevie's green line. Needs to close below that to uh, um, at least change the character in this case to anticipate more retracement ahead. As we look at the weekly time frame charts out here, I don't have a topping signal. Just that double top out there. So that is uh, Malibu Boats. Made in uh, Tennessee, and that was uh, and well, uh, now owns Cobalt Boat. So they've got some boats in Kansas and some in Tennessee, and uh, in any of it, I have been on a few Malibu boats. We've got other requests out here. The other request was oh from Laura in the uh, in our YouTube. So we got our YouTube chat going, and Laura would take to, like to take a look at ticker symbol M A R K. I like that. That spells Mark. Let's go take a look at Mark. Let me get it on my other charts as well so we give Laura a thorough review. This is trading at about 256. Uh, but let me pull this over here, M-A-R-K. This will at least tell us Remark Holdings out here. So pulling back today and pulling right back to a level of support, Laura, and that is the bottom of its daily structure. So this is, a, a this is the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile. <laughs> Boy, I blew that on the first attempt, didn't I? But, uh, hey, it's not how you fall. It is absolutely how you pick yourself back up. Teach your kids that one. If you're going to teach children anything, lesson number one, it's got to be. Now, it's, it does matter how you fall. You know, like put your hands down to break that fall or what have you. But you know what I mean uh, metaphorically. But do teach children to get back up. Single biggest lesson that was taught to me. You know, I've shared with you a couple different instances that my dad, you know, had a reason to go ahead and immediately get me back up on the horse. Of course, I was taught that at a young lad playing sports. If you ever play hockey, I think hockey and football are probably the two best sports to teach you about the ability to get back up. Why? Because it's a physical sport. And I would say, you know, hockey's, my opinion, hockey's more physical than than football but but let's not get too caught up into that in hockey it is easy to get crushed on a continuous basis if your eyes aren't up and there are times when your eyes aren't up you don't see where that check is coming from and right into the boards boom bam you know the boom was into the boards the bam was down to the ground and now you've got to get back up you have to teach people to get back up Failure is about getting back up. Okay, enough with getting back up. Here in the case of Remark Holdings, it fell yesterday and today. 
This case here, it fell right into support, Laura. So I don't know if you're in it, you're looking to get in it. If you're looking to get in it, we'll go look at my other charts out here. But if you're looking for support, it was 246. You're trading at 256 right now. If price closed below 246, that's not a good scene out here because the next level of support is not till 72 cents or a buck 17. That's courtesy of the weekly and the monthly time frame chart out here. But let's go take a look at Mark. Let's pull this over. Let's go see what its other charts patterns are telling us out here on the daily oh, that's the weekly let me switch over to the daily first so on the daily time frame what do we have hmm. so not only laura did it pull back and test the bottom of its profile it pulled back to test stevie's green line and i don't have a valid topping signal out here on the daily time frame so it looks like this wants to run back up to its highs at about the 356 level so I don't know what the request was other than to look at it. And at this stage here on the daily time frame, uh, ticker symbol M-A-R-K says uh, fire away. Steve Rhodes with TFN and we'll be right back to close out the show. Trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets. This is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. So six requests. Hey, folks, when you send me emails, do it early, please, because I don't control the ISP. And so I've got like 
five emails that came in all of a sudden towards the end. Let's see what we can do here. Ticker symbol WRTC. This is for Lee. Lee, uh, ticker symbol WRTC. Uh, closing above 628 today. You're trading at 638. 628 is a TD nine count breakdown level. As long as price closes above that, this wants to uh, trade higher. There's an A to B equals CD pattern. Likely get all the way back to the highs out there. Hector wants to take a look at the uh, semiconductor index. So let me switch over to uh, those uh, charts here. This will take just a, a moment to do. Uh, daily indices out here. So on the uh, semis, uh, they're having a, a nice move today or a decent move today or a move today. What is that move today doing? Uh, it is just simply, so you've got inside of the semis, you've got a Gartley sell pattern. That's been confirmed. It was even reconfirmed yesterday with a bear sash candle. But price hasn't been able to uh, close below. It's uh, Stevie's green line for two sessions in a row. So uh, this is trading between support and resistance out here. Valid topping signal, but not into a pattern not until you see close below Stevie's green line. Is that going to amount to anything? Um, question about uh, natural gas out here. Where is it headed to? I don't know. It hasn't found a bottom. That is for sure. As we take a look at uh, natural gas, here's what we're going to see. It is crushed through support of a simple little rising trend line. Um, that is the uh, that was a July contract out here. So it's just uh, headed lower. Um, I believe, let me see, NGO 720, I believe there's the possibility of a, a TD nine count pattern, but that is not going to unfold until next week or so. So hit me back up then. A request to go take a look at corn, the commodity. Uh, this broke out yesterday above the top of its uh, daily profile. It broke out above a descending trend line, and the pullback today is still bullish. It's testing old resistance. That was the top of the profile at 324.30. Corn looks like it wants to head much higher up into its next trend line level out there. Um, sorry, uh, Mimi, that we didn't get to uh, your request out there for PAAS. Um, but, uh, hey, everybody, have a wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. And I'll look forward to seeing you on Magnificent Marvelous Monday. Take care and stay tuned for two more great hours.